$1,000 to be presented by Miss Earth 2002, Winfred Omwakwe, and the General Manager for Corporate Development of Unilever Philippines, Mr. Chico Makapagal. Thank you to you, girl. This has been Miss Earth 2003. Good night, and see you all next year. before her took from her own heart the light of life one of nine parts of the heart of the sun the skies grew dark and the trees lowered their branches and bowed down their heads in the still wind still as the wind. sun commanded the newborn moon to block us from his sight i form so beautiful that none in all creation were allowed to gaze upon her, upon her, upon her. As I stand now, the third daughter to the sun, the first woman. And with a single breath came sight to see, sound, taste, touch, to become the very heart of earth, whom she embraced between her skies and seas. The not so the matter With all that played in the fields of the Lord, Lord. Con cada paso, ese hombre logrará construir. construir. A lo largo de la tierra, él dejó los caminos que unirá al hombre, a los hombres, pueblo a pueblo. Los caminos se volvieron carreteras. Las carreteras se volvieron puentes que se estiraron sobre las aguas de la tierra. Men had taken the kiss of life from his muse. Tomado su belleza para construir gloria tras gloria, reinado tras reinado. Tomado su belleza para construir gloria tras gloria, reinado tras reinado. Tomado su belleza para construir gloria tras gloria, reinado tras reinado. Tomado su belleza para construir gloria tras gloria, reinado tras reinado. Tomado su belleza para construir gloria tras gloria, reinado tras reinado. Never see the earth again as it was before the age of time and man. The grunste bladeren. The glorious sun. Dearly, Skilchen Pema. When again from the top urban thrones. The land again turns to earth. Mais si il fait ça, c'est parce que l'homme ne veut jamais survivre. Would we have survived the war? between the earth's sky and the entire oblivion of all space, space. Would we have survived the rages of the newborn land? That push and pull against the flood and sea. La tierra ha sobrevivido para darnos innumerables caras de su belleza. Come 
comienzo a contemplar. Marahil, ang kailangan lamang ay tayo ay magmistulang ilong sa dagat, araw sa gabi, anak sa ina, sa loob ng pananampalataya at ng pag -ibig. Puedes comparar la majestad. Grupo al cambio. Esto se tuvo ese día la ola más. Sama la esta. Un sequero no. Sequero no. Y ahí, ¿cuál es el chocnedo? Y por qué no viene que Children again, born with their maternal bodies on our head. Again, arrive as when man first took breath. The earth and the human being are one thing. Now, when we think about the culture, is it a concrete? لكن دابا كتو وات لعلى ماتشني مسات وان تركم لما تردات نو I am born of all both as all have been and yet like none ever be I am man born woman I am earth From Carousel Productions and EBS CBN, it's Miss Earth 2004.
check this out. Come to the announcement of the 16 semi-finalists. I would first like to say to each and every one of you girls that the whole world thanks you for coming from such a distant land to be true ambassadors and protectors of Mother Earth. For that, they deserve a big round of applause. We now like to call on stage Mr. Ramon D. Dizon, our partner from the SGV, for the prized results. Thank you very much, sir. Now, the envelope I have in my hand contains the 16 names. To all of you ladies, the very best of luck. In no particular order. You're on the list, Miss Tahiti Kahaya Lesage. Congratulations, Miss Brazil, Priscilla Mireles. Okay, let's now make way for Miss Thailand, Rachatawan Kampeng. And don't you feel great, Miss Poland, Carolina Gorzada. And come on down, Miss Peru, Liesel Holler. And they also like you, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Leah Marie Guevara. And you are one amazing girl, Miss India, Juti Brahmin. And there are also some answered prayers for Miss Paraguay, Yanina Gonzalez. And how about Miss Australia, Chenevelle Dixon? And also, tonight is your night, Miss Nicaragua, Marifeli Arguello. We also still have room for Miss Israel, Karen Somek. Lucky, lucky you, Miss Martinique, Muriel Selimien. And now why don't you join us down here, Miss Honduras, Gabriela Zavala. The floor is also yours, Miss Egypt, Arwa Gouda. Only two more to go, and you just happen to be one of them. Miss Philippines, Tamara Marie Sicharto. We still have one name left. Who could it be? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Miss Norway, Birgitta Korsvik. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the top 16 semi-finalists for the Miss Earth 2004 crown. Wow, what a truly amazing set of names. My favorites are in. It looks like the judges and I are on the same wavelength. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to inform you that as of this moment, all of their scores will be set back to zero as we proceed into the semifinal round. Now, we would also like to tell you that each round will be graded individually, and it is these grades that determine whether or not the girls will be moving on to the next level or not. Our three categories are, first, the swimsuit competition, after which only the top eight contenders shall proceed to the next round. Second, the long gown and interview round, from which we shall draw four from the eight. And of course, third, the final question and answer, which shall ultimately decide who will get to take home the most important crown of all, Miss Earth 2004. All of this will happen when we come back, so please do stay with us. My real crown and glory. Plenty of shine and bells. Sagandanang saganda. 
hadang humahaba. Here backstage once again with our 16 semifinalists in their teeny weeny green bikinis. Girls, how are you feeling? Hi. Hi. So congratulations to all of you. You're into the 16. How does it feel? Were you guys nervous when you're standing up there and the names were being called? Of course. It's a big responsibility. So we are very happy, but a little nervous. <laughs> now, how are the other girls doing backstage? Are they all right? Yes, I think so. Is it cold? Are your feet hurting? Tell me how it's going. <laughs> what are you guys feeling like right now? Pretty excited. It's when top 16 and here we are. So down to eight and then down to four. And then of course we have Miss Earth. Mark, how are you doing out there? Well, Sarah, we're also ready out here and it's time to see them back in their blazing hot swimsuits. Here we go. Miss Tahiti, Kahaya Lusaj. Miss Brazil, Priscilla Mireles. Miss Thailand, Rachadawan Kampang. Miss Poland, Karolina Gorazda. Miss Peru, Liesel Holler. Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Leah Marie Guevara.
Miss India, Judy Brahmin. Miss Paraguay, Yanina Gonzalez. Miss Australia, Genevelle Dixon. Miss Nicaragua, Marifeli Arguello. Miss Israel, Karen Somek. Miss Martinique, Muriel Seliman. Miss Honduras, Gabriela Zavala. Miss Egypt, Arwa Huda.
Miss Philippines, Camilla Marie Sijato. Miss Norway, Birgitta Kirsten. Absolutely phenomenal, as you can all see. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like the crowd already has their favorites, from Miss Brazil to Miss Martinique, all the way to Miss Philippines. They have been applauding, but does that make them sure bets for the crown? Your guess is as good as mine. We'll find out when Miss Earth 2004 returns. Freshness, confidence, and that killer smile is all you need to be a winner. With their complete fit mount, these ladies definitely live their life to the fullest. Good luck, ladies. Keep smiling. Our Miss Earth candidates are firm believers in environment preservation. Their tree planting projects provide that perfect nurturing balance. And we've now come to announce the first part of our whittling down from the 16 semi-finalists to just half. That's eight names we'll be calling out to proceed to the next round. Now, we'd like to thank again, Mr. Ramon Dizon from SGV for the results. Thank you. And this rundown begins right now. All right, let's begin with Miss Tahiti Kahaya Lesage. Another very lucky girl is Miss Thailand, Rachadawan Kampeng. Let's also welcome down Miss Martinique, Muriel Zemmermann. And here's a crowd favorite, Miss Philippines, Tamara Marie Sijarto. How about also joining them down on stage, Miss Brazil, Priscilla Mirales. One more lady who's very lucky tonight is Miss Honduras, Gabriela Zavala. There's only two more to go, and one of them that can rest easy is Miss Paraguay, Yanina Gonzalez. And our last lady to be called is none other than Miss 
Miss Australia, Chenevelle Dawn Dixon. From 16, they're now down to eight. I wish I could shout my congratulations out to my best, but I will save that for later when we present them in their Tesoro Filipiniana gown serenaded by none other than Mr. Fiolo Pascual. Also the casual interview when we come back right here on Miss Earth 2004. We've now come to reach a captivating highlight of tonight's grand affair, symbolizing unity amid diversity. Let's see them back in traditional Filipiniana gowns by internationally acclaimed Filipino designer, Patis Tesoro, in a dreamy serenade with one of the Philippines' hottest matinee idols and recording artists, Mr. Piolo Pascual. <laughs>
and gentlemen, the eight semi-finalists of Miss Earth 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, another round of applause also for Mr. Piolo Pasquale. And I must say, I agree. The ladies look absolutely lovely in their Tesoro gowns. Now, I know the crowd has been, uh, well, very anxious and very vocal in their choices as the night has progressed. And tonight I'd like to ask them once again, now that we've whittled it down to eight, who do they think will make it to the final four? Ladies and gentlemen, how do you think Australia is going to do? And where are the supporters of Brazil? <laughs> All right. How about Honduras? Okay. Now, a neighboring country to the Philippines, Thailand. A lot of people like Thailand. And how about our lovely lady from Martinique? She seems to have made quite a few friends here now. And anyone here going for Paraguay? Let's see, how about, who likes Tahiti? Now, I think there's one left that I haven't mentioned. Uh, who could that be? Anyone have any, any idea? Who here is going for Philippines? All right, yep. Surprisingly enough, we're in the Philippines. Now, since Miss Earth was conceived, we took away the traditional question and answer and replaced them with a more universal language of meaningful visual representations, like paintings and photographs. Now we'd like to hear what the girls think when we show them this time some new video clips of world events. All right, and we will begin with Miss Australia.
Dans mon pays, euh, les tortues sont protégées parce que les hommes ont tendance, à, dans notre pays, à les, à les pêcher pour les manger. In my country, the image on this uh, video was of a turtle. Turtles are protected in Tahiti due to the uh, due to the people who try to steal the eggs for eating them. Yes. Ah, um, pardon. Et uh, je pense qu'il faut que l'on protège la nature, les animaux, uh, pour, parce que c'est c'est eux qui permettent de, de nous faire vivre. C'est eux qui permettent à la nature de, de grandir, de, de donner tout ce qu'on peut avoir. I think we should look after the environment, we should look after the animals because they are part of our life of nature. Alagan ponachin an atin kalikasan. Salamapo. And I believe that last part needed no translation. Thank you very much, Mr. Heaty. Well, some very uh, well-educated and informed answers right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just concluded the casual interview round. A round of applause for them all, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen them walk, we've seen them strut, and now we've heard them talk. We have the judges deliberating at this very moment, which four will move on to the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, the results when we come back here on Miss Earth 2004. Scores that have been averaged and verified for us by our friends from the SGV. Thank you very much, Mr. Diesel. Okay, everyone. Are you ready? Are you sure? All right. Here are our four finalists. Please welcome Miss Tahiti Kahaya Lesage. And also joining her is Miss Martinique Muriel Salimane. <laughs> Halfway there, and another very lovely and lucky lady is Miss Brazil, Priscilla Mireles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have only one name left. Who could it be? Anyone out there? Do you have any idea? Well, everyone, please welcome down on the stage, Miss Paraguay, Yanina Gonzalez. My picks have made it, ladies and gentlemen. We now have our final four. Moving on, we are going to be coming up with the question and answer portion. This is going to be the final round. Do you have your picks? We'll see who wins when we come back with Miss Earth. In the meantime, though, why don't we check out what our candidates are going to be winning? has its benefits but being beautiful with a cause well that's an entirely different story Miss Earth, Miss Air, Miss Water, and Miss Fire will receive a one-year supply of new creams and conditioner from Unilever Philippines. Miss Earth, Miss Air, Miss Water, and Miss Fire will receive a one-year supply of close-up toothpaste products from Unilever Philippines. 
Miss Earth, Miss Air, Miss Water, and Miss Fire will receive a one-year supply of Ponce products from Unilever Philippines. Miss Earth, Miss Air, Miss Water, and Miss Fire will receive a shopping spree of Avon Color and Avon Fashion products. Miss Earth will receive a round-trip business class ticket to any U.S. destination of Korean Air. Miss Earth will enjoy a three nights accommodation at the luxurious state suite of the Intercontinental Manila, featuring a spacious living room, sauna, and jacuzzi, world-class amenities, and a service that the Intercontinental Hotel are known for. Truly, one hotel understands you. She will also receive a three days and two nights accommodation for two from Fort Ilocandia Resort and Casino. Three days, two nights stay, inclusive of breakfast, at the Boracay Regency Beach Resort, the first triple A resort along the wide beach coast of Boracay Island, and at the Pearl of the Pacific Resort and Spa, also in Boracay. This Earth 2004 will receive a three days, two nights stay at Dive and Trek resort and marine sanctuary in the Juan Batanga. She will also get the chance to experience and enjoy the underwater marvels through an introductory scuba dive. Dive and Trek Resort and Marine Sanctuary where nature is at its best. The winners will receive a gift of fitness, wellness, feel good and pampering from Discovery Spa. The Miss Earth winners will receive gift certificates from Alberta. Shoes that fit your lifestyle. Leonardo bags. Gift certificates of spa and fitness services from Body Work Spa and Fitness Club. Lucky crystals and precious stones courtesy of Joy Lim of Charms and Crystals International. Trophies and plaques made by Leobel Glass Supply and Etching Service. And a crown specially designed by Arnold Papa. And of course, Miss Earth 2004 will also fly $20,000 richer courtesy of Carousel Productions. Productions Incorporated. Let us not forget that the adventure will never be half as fulfilling as when it is done for a worthy cause. This is a serious challenge for you. I have two questions that each of you must answer correctly. The first one, well, it's actually, are they nervous? But only one of them can hear. Are you nervous, Mr. Heaty? No, not at all. Well, I'd like to request Mr. Heaty to please come down here and join me, whilst our other three ladies have their headsets on. Now, uh, we've been assured that the ladies cannot hear anything with these headsets on. Mr. Heaty, this is your final question. On a quiet night, you could hear the sounds of nature talking to you. What do you think is its message, and what would you like to tell it back? May I have the question, please? Voilà votre question finale. Sur une nuit tranquille, vous entendez les sons de la nature qui vous parle. Que pensez-vous c'est le message et que désirez-vous répondre au message? Thank you. Ce message, c'est une musique, c'est ça? C'est le son de la nature. Okay. Lorsque j'entends le son de la nature, tout simplement, euh, ça, me, ça me rend, je me rends compte de ce que, le, ce que la nature veut me dire, c'est-à-dire que Euh, qu'il faut que l'on fasse attention, que l'on trie nos ordures, que, que, que l'on prenne soin de la nature. Et euh, j'entends ce message pour que pour qu'elle puisse me faire, ce message me fasse euh, prendre conscience et fasse, prendre, fasse confi prendre con conscience aux humains que la terre, euh, l'eau, le feu, la terre euh, sont nécessaires pour la vie. I think I have a future as an editor. <laughs> the, what uh, Miss uh, Kahaya has said is that when she hears the sound of nature, she's reminded of the very important 
responsibility that we have to take care of nature, to look after the environment, to participate actively in recycling, and to each and every one of us to do our own share to look after Mother Nature. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kahir Lazaj, Miss Tahiti. We'd now like to call on Miss Martinique, Muriel Seliman. Good evening, Muriel. Good evening. This is your final question. On a quiet night, you could hear the sounds of nature talking to you. What do you think is its message, and what would you like to tell it back? Sur une nuit tranquille, vous entendez les sons de la nature qui vous parle. Que pensez-vous est le message et que pensez-vous répondre à ce message? Bien sûr que je répondrai à ce message. I will of course respond to the message from the sound of nature. Je crois que je compatirai avec la nature car elle souffre en ce moment. I think I will join forces with nature because nature is suffering at this time. Car si elle me lance un message, c'est qu'elle a besoin de moi. The message that she is giving is that she needs Muriel. Je l'écouterai. I will listen. Et je ferai tout mon possible pour pour sécher ses larmes. I will listen to the message and I will do everything to dry the tears of nature. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Martinique. Muriel Seliman. And we would now like to call down Miss Brazil, Pisela Mureles. Good evening once again, Pisela. Good evening. This is your final question. On a quiet night, you could hear the sounds of nature talking to you. What do you think is its message, and what would you like to tell it back? In a night tranquil, you hear the voice of nature. What do you think is the message that nature is saying, and what would you say back to it? What I can hear is nature saying that there is love. What I can hear is nature saying that there's love missing. Porque as pessoas elas não respeitam umas às outras. Because people don't respect each other. Não respeitam a natureza. They don't respect nature. Não respeitam a vida. They don't respect life. Então por isso a natureza ela dá de volta, ela reage a tudo que as pessoas fazem contra ela. And that is why nature is reacting to everything that people do to her. E quem sofre as consequências somos nós, seres humanos. And who suffers? It's us, humankind. E o amor é a solução de todos os nossos problemas. And love is what would say, solve all our problems. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Brazil, Priscila Mireles. And finally, we'd like to call down Miss Paraguay, Yanina Gonzalez. Okay, Ms. Paraguay, this is your final question. On a quiet night, you could hear the sounds of nature talking to you. What do you think is its message, and what would you like to say back? Es una noche silenciosa, y puedes escuchar la voz de la naturaleza hablándote. ¿Cuál crees que es su mensaje, y qué le responderías? La pobreza. No, es una noche silenciosa, y puedes escuchar La voz de la naturaleza hablándote. ¿Cuál crees que es su mensaje y qué le responderías? Yo creo que me estaría preguntando si cómo quisiera yo cambiar el mundo. She thinks that this question is asking her how would she like to change the world. Y yo creo que si fuera por mí cambiaría el mundo de colores. 
And if it were up to her, she would change the world in its colors. Porque de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. Because colors are, uh, is, is what the fields are dressed, are dressed as. De colores son los pajarillos que vienen de afuera. Uh, the birds in the sky are all of different colors. Y los grandes amores también se visten de muchos colores. And great loves are also wear different colors. Y me encantan a mí. Me encantan a mí. She loves colors. She loves it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Paraguay, Yanino Gonzalez. Well, of course, the real final question is, who shall it be? There is no weakest link from the four, ladies and gentlemen, because any one of them could be the winner. The most awaited answer when we come back, right here on Miss Earth 2004. Welcome back to Miss Earth 2004. Well, Sarah, it is time. It sure is, Mark, for sure. Everybody in the audience already has their favorites, but I must say, this is a tough, tough choice to Oh, make. yeah. Absolutely. Can we just have all four of them win? Sure. Okay, it's the open now. <laughs> now, before we announce the final set of winners, Sarah, we now behold the lovely presence of an unforgettable woman, who, about the same time last year, was crowned Miss Earth 2003. Let us all bid her farewell. Our Miss Earth 2003, Miss Danya Prince. It's a very important moment for me. This is the point in my life wherein I have fulfilled my dream and realized my endless mission on Earth. As the Miss Earth, I have been able to grasp an entirely borderless world of opportunities, the chance of experiencing myself in many ways, reaching out to the different people and proving my devotion to our Mother Earth. All of these have taught me to become a better person. Tonight, my reign formally ends, but my commitment to the Miss Earth Coast will continue. I'd like to thank God for the blessing, guidance, and give of a strength, intelligence, and beauty. All of which have encouraged me to succeed in attaining my mission and proving it to the world. Marami Salama Po, Mahalko Kayo, Filipinos. And what a wonderful reign it was. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Earth 2003, Dania Prince. And now, the moment the entire Earth has been waiting for. I would like to call once again Mr. Ramon D. Dizon, our partner from the SGV, for the final results. Thank you very much. We have the four crowns awaiting this year's queens. The courts of runners-up are Miss Earth Fire, Miss Earth Water, Miss Earth Air, and of course, this year's Miss Earth 2004. Ladies, I only wish the very best for all of you. We will begin with Miss Fire. And Miss Fire is Miss Paraguay, Yanino Gonzalez. To present the award for Miss Fire, our Miss Earth 2003's Beauty for a Cost winner. Ms. Afghanistan, Vida Samadzai, and the president of Carousel Productions, Mr. Ramon Monzon. Congratulations to Ms. Paraguay, our Miss Fire. Next up, Miss Water. Who could it be? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Water 
is Miss Tahiti Kahaya Lesage. Presenting the award for Miss Porter is Mr. Freddie M. Garcia, former president and COO of ABS-CBN, and the marketing director of Avon Color, Ms. Kit D. Lian. Congratulations. Two more crowns to go and two more names. Now, the first name I will announce is this year's Miss Earth 2004. And the other one shall, of course, be Miss Air. Now, who is this year's Miss Earth for 2004? Well, it's a very, very tough choice indeed. And... Miss Earth for 2004 is Miss Brazil, Priscilla Mireles. Means Miss Martinique, Muriel Jimenez is Miss Air. Presenting the award for Miss Air is Miss Regina Paz Lopez, ABS CBN Foundation's Managing Director and Honorable Secretary of DTI, Mr. Cesar Purisima. And presenting the award for Miss Earth 2004 is Ms. Chinchin Gutierrez, artist and environmental advocate, and Mr. Noel Lorenzana, marketing director of HBC Unilever Philippines. Congratulations again to Miss Fire, Miss Paraguay, Yanina Gonzalez. Miss Water, Miss Tahiti, Cahaya Lesage. Miss Air, Miss Martinique, Muriel Clemenes, and of course, Miss Earth for 2004, Miss Brazil, Gisela Mireles. Mark, I'm so delighted to have been part of Miss Earth 2004. Our congratulations to Carousel Productions and ABS-CBN. And I am most delighted to be here with you tonight, Sarah. And to you at home, thank you all very much for being part of the fantastic celebration for Mother Earth. This has been Miss Earth 2004. We'll see you all next year.